Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Friday, October 9th, and it's an 8A. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Abby Martinez. Today, Madeline Roberts takes a look into World Mental Health Day. We look at the rise in COVID cases, an update on student council elections, the top three things you need to know today, and Luke Johnson and Katie Whitmarsh are in the studio for a Friday game day sports report. Plus, your pet of the week. Let's jump in because the Wolf cast starts now. Mental health continues to be an important issue in our nation, especially as many scientists point out COVID's impact on the issue. Reporter Madeline Roberts talked to some students and a licensed professional in Austin to bring us more on this topic. The stigma around mental illness has existed for centuries. Discussions around one's mental health has often led to feelings of shame and guilt for not being able to handle life struggles. World Mental Health Day's goal is to bring awareness to the complexity and importance of mental health and remove that stigma. Just like when you get a checkup for your physical health at your local physician, you also need to periodically check in on your own mental health. You no, know, I think keeping on top of our mental health, it's just as important as keeping on top of our physical health because our mood can easily affect our life, you know, if we're anxious, if we're depressed, if we're, you know, stressed or whatever it might be, you know, it can definitely bleed into all kinds of areas of our lives. Many students do things in their daily lives to keep their mental health in a good place. What works for some people might not work for others, but everyone has something that makes them feel calm and happy to settle the stress that comes with life. Just kind of chill out and watch a show that's like funny, so I can just kind of relax and chill out a bit and then go back to the thing, typically homework, that I was doing with like a fresh, you know, mental state. I make sure to get out of the house a lot. I see my friends. I hang out with my boyfriend. I work out sometimes, play tennis, just like so I'm not isolated in my room by myself all the time because that can get really lonely and sad. It's important to talk about mental health in the same conversations that you have about your physical well-being, whether that's with a parent, a school counselor, a physician, or a therapist. I hope that people will remember that it's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, we all have struggles, be it physical or mental sometimes, and there's no shame around asking for help. And I hope that people will, over time, start to feel more comfortable and more safe with that. This Saturday and every day, make sure you're taking the time to check in with yourself. And if things are feeling off, don't be afraid to reach out to someone. Thank you, Madeline. It's great to see people bringing light to the subject of mental health. Another positive COVID case at Cedar Park. That's what an alert sent to students, parents, and teachers said yesterday. Cedar Park has opened its doors back to students. LASD has taken many precautions to keep everyone safe at school. Still, during their best efforts from September 11th to the 18th, LASD has reported 25 positive cases. There have been 11 positive student cases and 14 positive employees. Contact exposure cases are at a high of 201, with 177 students and 24 employees. There have been four positive cases in Cedar Park, three students and one employer, with 35 total exposures. I personally am not afraid of getting COVID at school. I I feel like the school, the district, the government, everyone has done a great job of putting procedures in place to stop the spread and I feel like the people have done a great job of following the procedures to contain it and keep everybody safe at school. LASD continues to take precautions to keep their students as safe as possible when coming to school. Due to COVID-19, the Student Council is taking advantage of virtual learning to learn and do things they might not have been able to do in person. There are still many challenges they have to overcome and they are still figuring out the best ways to run things, one of which being the student council elections in the spring. We actually have um, the sophomore position still to fill. We've lost the ability to do a lot of things that took a lot of time out of student council. So in a weird way, um, the situation that we're dealing with with the pandemic and virtual learning has um, kind of cleared the pathway for us to uh, try some new things. We've realized that we can do a lot of stuff virtually. Um, so that may change how we do meetings, that may change um, how we run our committees, because what we do in student council is we don't necessarily bring 
uh, the whole student council together on every project. We have these little satellite committees. This year, um, because we're unable to do the big dance events, um, we are focusing more on being a voice for the students. We will keep you updated on the next steps the student council takes. Up next, Victor Martinez is here for the top three things you need to know for today. Smokey Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Probably supporting Cedar Park High School. Welcome back, I'm Victor Martinez and here are your top three things for today. First, Derek Chauvin, the ex-officer charged with the murder of George Floyd, has been released on a $1 million bond. He was released on Wednesday on a conditional release and is expected to appear in court in March of next year. Chauvin is charged with second degree murder and manslaughter and the other three officers who were also terminated from the department have been charged with aiding and abetting. In response to Chauvin's release, Minnesota's governor, Tim Walz, activated the state's National Guard, quote, out of an abundance of caution, unquote, in preparation for possible protests which did break out in Minneapolis on Wednesday and were reportedly mostly peaceful, although police report that 51 people were arrested. Next up, the vice presidential debate took place Wednesday night as Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence discussed topics like U.S. coronavirus response, the economy, the Supreme Court, and racial justice. Despite the intensity of their conversations, debate viewers couldn't look away from a fly that landed on Pence's head and stayed there for more than two minutes, which prompted an immediate response from users on, twi on Twitter and Biden himself, who posted this photo and even started selling Biden fly swatters after the debate, which quickly sold out. Lastly, a 17-year-old teenage girl from Cedar Park, Macy Curran, has broken the world record for the world's longest legs on a woman and the longest legs of any teenager. She's 6 feet 10 inches tall, and according to the Guinness World Records, her left leg measures 53.25 inches and her right measures 52.87. Curran said that, quote, I was never bullied for my legs. I was bullied because I was taller than everyone. Around sophomore year, I just stopped caring what people thought of me. And once I just stopped caring, I wasn't affected by anything, unquote. With CPHS News, I'm Victor Martinez. Back to y'all. Thanks, Victor. Now we throw it over to Luke Johnson and Katie Whitmarsh for your sports report. Hello, CPHS, and welcome to the Wolfcast Sports Report. I'm Luke Johnson. And I'm Katie Whitmarsh. Although we didn't have any action sports-wise this week, this weekend, including today, will sure enough have you quenched. That's right, Luke. Starting with volleyball, our girls will face Leander today at 5.30 in an away district match. So far, the Lady Timberwolves are 2-0 in their district matches, so I have an itching suspicion they can pull off the district three-peat. Me too. They will play the Raiders here at home on Tuesday starting at 6.30, so go out there and show your support. Diving into the world of Cedar Park swimming, the team will compete in a Leander and Glen tri meet at Milburn. Now these swim meets are quite intense, with some having over 20 events within them. I could not believe what that's like, Katie. Uh, so if, you're, uh, if you see a swim team member, whether it be in person or on Zoom, wish them the best. Now for the big event. Tonight is our homecoming game against Georgetown at Gupton starting at 7. That's right. Both teams are coming into this game with zero L's, so one team is walking out with an imperfect record. And I have a strong feeling it won't be the Black Rain. Our key for this game would to be to maintain a level of defense we have been playing at. If we can do that, this game should be smooth sailing. Absolutely right, Katie. Make sure to wish the players good luck. Well, that's all we have for you today. With CPHS News, I'm Luke Johnson. And I'm Katie Whitmarsh. Back to y'all. Thanks, Luke and Katie. Up next, your pet of the week. But first, this break. We are not just here to share announcements. We are here to tell stories. Your stories. Students depend on us. And what they need from us is to be hype, to be ready, to be informed, to be successful, to be Timberwolves. We are real news. We are sideline reporters, moment captures, question askers, life sharers, cheer spreaders, and voice givers. And above all, we are students just like you, here to help you. We are journalism, newspaper, yearbook, and broadcast. We are CPHS News. Now, your pet of the week. This is Biscuit and Studs. These are two adorable ducks that Brody Bush visits often in the lake. 
Biscuit is very energetic and loves to eat, while Studs is the shy one. They love playing with the catfish near the lake and love sitting on floaties. That's all we have for today. Make sure you're keeping up with all of our content, so head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. Next week, enjoy your two-day break on Monday and Tuesday and catch the show Wednesday for a story over defunding the police, your top three things, and a new edition of the Pack Chat. With CPHS News, I'm Abby Martinez. And I'm Ella Neal. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.